Today, I'd like to take a look at the integration of the Mahara ePortfolio system with Moodle and some of the basic functions that users can undertake within Mahara. So here I am at a uh, Moodle course. I'm logged in as Fred, who is a participant in this course. And you can see in the right sidebar, in the right blocks, there is a Home Mahara link. Now, Mahara is integrated with our Moodle install here so that we have a, essentially a single sign-on situation. So if I'm logged into uh, Moodle, I can just click this link and move to Mahara seamlessly without having to create a separate account there, without having to do anything other than following this link. That will take me into my Mahara home and uh, because I'm a new user in Mahara I send a confirmation email that just lets me know that I've joined. And uh, Here you can see the front page and some of the basic actions I can undertake as a user of uh, the Mahara ePortfolio system. It is focused on developing your electronic portfolio and, and tracking your progress through courses. Um, there is also uh, the integration of the Mahara assignment type within Moodle that will be of use to you as an instructor. But for your students or participants, uh, they have access to this full ePortfolio system. Uh, you can create your profile, you can create a resume, uh, do journal publications, and file uploads. Once you've created some con and once you've uploaded some content to Mahara, once you've identified some items, you can then create pages which help um, integrate things together, multiple media types, multiple content types. Um, and then you can share those pages with either the groups that you've created, your friends, or the general public. But for today, we're just going to take a look at some of the, the fundamentals here, my profile. Let's click on that. And because I transferred over from Moodle. I have very little information in my profile. I can set a student ID, but uh, I will just make that my student ID. I can add my contact information if I have a uh, an organizational website. I could put it in here. My personal web address would go in here. If I'm running a blog, all that information can be put in here. I can add some of the basic messaging functionality if I'm using ICQ or Yahoo or Skype. Um, and then general information, just the occupation and industry, nothing too in-depth there. Uh, you have a profile picture, and you can see that my profile picture here has been grabbed from uh, Moodle. And of course I can upload files to my personal space, and that's a uh, very much a similar process. The, the nice thing is that the integration of the editing facility, the tools, and the file upload process is going to be similar from uh, across the platform. So if you know how to do it in Moodle, you can do it in Mahara. If you can do it in Mahara, you can do it in Moodle. For your participants, it means that they don't have to learn a whole new system. It should be a fairly seamless and easy integration. Um, so just to sample the file upload, uh, we're just going to grab a quick file here. Let's just take this and upload that. And that drops it into my file area. And this will be of use when we come to creating pages. Uh, I can integrate those files into the pages for other people to uh, download, read, or enjoy. Um, journals, I can create a journal. And if I hit New Entry, um, again, very similar to what you'll, what you'll get in Moodle. And we'll call this my first entry. And, of course, you know, all the standards are here. And so on and so forth. Uh, tags, you can, of course, tag things here with, uh, uh, you know, user-generated, user-selected tags. Um, so, call this first entry. And these are very non-creative tags. Um, but, there you have it. You can attach files to the journal. You can save it as a draft, or you can turn comments on and off. So we're going to save this entry. So now I have a, a journal entry. And it, I can create uh, learning plans and, and notes and things like that. We'll go into those in subsequent uh, screencasts. But for now, we want to take a look at creating a page. And you can see here I just have the default pages. Uh, profile page and dashboard page, but I want to create a new page. And I'm going to call this uh, Fred's first page. And 
give it a little description there and a really boring tag. Um, the layout we're not going to worry about here, although you can see there are some flexible layouts here. Um, let's just change it to that for kicks. And now I can add some content. You can see there are a bunch of icons here. Uh, I can select files that people can then download. So in order to do that, I would grab that little icon, drop it here, and it's going to open up my file area. And I can select the file I uploaded and add that. So now anybody who's viewing this page can have access to that file and download it and read it. Um, I can put images in there. If I've uploaded images, I can create an image gallery. I haven't uploaded any images, but again, that process is going to be very similar. I drag and drop here. And it asks me, you know, where, what image collection do I want to use? But since I don't have any, we can't do that. So we're just going to get rid of that block. I want to look at some of the external content that I can integrate. And you can see here I can uh, do RSS feeds if I so choose. Uh, external media content, to do that I would just again grab the icon, drop it in here, and then find some external media. And uh, we'll just grab a YouTube file, a video file. So I paste the URL for my uh, YouTube video in there and I hit save. And you can see here is my video. Now, uh, journals. I can display an entire journal. I can s select separate pages. Uh, I have one journal so far, so we can drop that in there. And you can see here's my first entry that we made in the journal. Now we're done here, so we're going to save this page. And we call it untitled, which was very uncreative of me. But this is what the page looks like. Um, again, my embedded content, the file that I've uh, uploaded, I've made available to other people who might be reading this page, and my journal. Uh, if I go back to my dashboard, I can then see that there's my untitled page. And so I'm good to go. Now I've started building uh, with some of the tools in here. And as you get more comfortable with the tools, you'll, you'll be able to build more complicated or representative uh, pages that really display some of the depth of the work that you're engaged in, some of the, uh, the highlights of your learning journey. Uh, one thing we won't talk about today is the ability to create groups and, and network with people. We'll save that for another screencast. But right now I'd like to go back to Moodle and show you quickly what the uh, assignment type looks like from a learner's perspective. So I'm back in Moodle here and you can see that I have a Mahara portfolio assignment type that the instructor has created for me. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see this takes me to uh, an assignment page. Basically if there were a greater description it would be there. Uh, what's required of the assignment, things like that. It's available. It's got some availability times here. And I can either select one of my existing pages, the untitled page that I created, or I can uh, go back to Mahara and create a new page right now if I wanted to uh, fulfill the exact requirements of the assignment. And again, if I click to visit home Mahara, that's just going to jump me right into the system here. And I would set about, by, uh, set, uh, set about creating the page by clicking on the page. Now I might want to preload some content for that page. Um, and of course I could do that by uh, uploading files. And again, same process, just grow, grab the files you want and then use the page to organize them. And once that's all organized, uh, you would return back to Moodle and submit your assignment. And again, I've completed that portfolio assignment as a learner. The instructor will go in and see that the submission is there, take a look at the portfolio, and then grade it. And again, that is very basic, uh, high-level introduction to the integration of Mahara with Moodle and uh, basic use of uh, Mahara. We'll follow this up with a screencast that takes a look at some of the social features of Mahara, such as creating groups and sharing content amongst those groups, uh, go into a little more detail on uh, depth on tagging, but for today, that's all we wanted to cover, so um, thanks for your time.